Okay, um, I got a question that's yeah. uh, not that relevant to exactly the reference point. Could you, uh, <coughs> could yeah, you yeah. speak up, please? Yeah. <laughs> so I want to um, resize a plot, yeah. uh, but I want to keep the font size. Oh man, that's uh, that's actually the next point. All right, uh, right. And it was outline <laughs> wow. that you also have as well. You should have read the outline. Before. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> I uh, actually, it's a, it's the second to next uh, item, but right. uh, I, I can show it right now. So I've shown that you can uh, resize things, resize the uh, the strokes or lines separately from uh, other stuff. But sometimes you also want to change the size of. Uh, of dots separately, or, or I mean, of, uh, of text separately from the rest of things, right? Uh, prime example here, I want to make the text smaller. So in this case, I, we're not going to use these guys, right? Yeah. We are going to use the character palette. Okay, so you can go into window, type, uh, and then character, right? To open this, uh, this, this, uh, this palette and you can change the size of the font to say something huge like so so another thing is uh, so, so for example sometimes you want to change the aspect ratio of your plot uh, and it'll ch mess up the aspect ratio of the text as well <laughs> and then <laughs> you can't figure out how to so you see you know, it messes the let's say here yeah, right. and here everything's messed up right but maybe this is the way I want to sh actually show it so, what you do then is uh, there's, there's, there's this option over here, which is this T thing with the left right arrow. This is it. Okay. So now you've recovered the original aspect ratio of the text. Is there a way to just keep all aspects of the text stable while resizing it? So, well, you so you'll have noticed that, oh, is it, can you lock it basically? Yeah, essentially. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, you have to reset it manually. It's kind of a, it's kind of a weird thing, but that's that's just the way it works. But at least now, you know, we won't have to uh, dick around with it too much. Um, all right. So let's say that, like this is actually a, a nice example because I've made a scatter plot, but my dots are like way too small, right? And I want to make them bigger because I don't know. In my poster, people are going to be four or five feet away. Uh, so, I'm going to use the magic wand tool and select all these dots and I am going to use transform each. So this was an object, uh, let me do that uh, again. Scroll. Object, transform, transform each. Right? So you want to preview. And now, if everything worked well, you see that? It's not, it's not making, uh, it's making like each of the dots individually bigger while also, uh, while keeping them in place, basically. So you can set, for example, the scale here to 200, 200, and then boom, my dots are bigger. All right, so I don't have to go back into MATLAB to do that thing. <laughs> so, uh, of course, y this is a lot better than selecting each individually and then <laughs> like making them grow bigger and bigger. And so this, that's why you have this, uh, this object transform, transform each option. So you can do it again and it's going to make them even bigger, like such. Um, there's actually in this, uh, this same thing, object transform, there's a couple of uh, really uh, nice options. Sometimes you want to scale things, but according to a certain factor, uh, like an exact factor. So you can use, for example, uh, scale non-uniformly 130% uh, in the horizontal direction, right? So it's going to, so I don't know if you saw that. Let me do that okay. actually for the whole plot. Object, transform, scale, non-uniform, 150. Preview. All right. So that allows you to set the, the, the amount numerically. Sometimes that, that's useful if you need to change like axes or you might, you might need to do that. All right, uh, and uh, another actually uh, very useful option um, that you'll need when you're resizing and moving stuff around is the measure tool. And that is located in this 
or here or here. Where is it? Uh, ah, yeah, it's below the eyedropper tool. Here, it's the measure tool. Uh, so you want to have the info panel open, and you want to make it bigger using this little thing. And uh, yeah, so you could also open it to the window thing. And let's say I want to measure this line over here. I just click, and then it tells me it's 2.2882 inches, for example. Uh, so sometimes that's useful because uh, let's say, like I, I can't see the if uh, this rectangle is actually a rectangle or it's a square. So I can just measure it, for example. And I find that it's actually not at all. It's 2.1 inches here by 2.28. So you can use that to uh, base your resizings on that. Now, if uh, these tools for resizing and moving things around don't satisfy you for whatever reason, uh, oftentimes you can, uh, you can use a little trick which I learned from a graphic designer, uh, which involves simply like making rectangles. Right? So let's say that um, so you just use a rectangle to measure a certain distance, let's say, like so, right? You make it snap. So now your rectangle is going to be that size. And then you can move your rectangle in different places uh, to measure that same amount, right? So you use the rectangle as a reference uh, measure. And then when you're done with it, you just delete it. So that's actually um, sometimes quite useful. Let me check my time now. Okay, well that's uh, that's enough for uh, for now. Uh, next up, we're going to uh, show how to use these uh, tools to uh, 